Hi guys, I'm so pumped for MKIDS, are you? Okay, great, let's get started. What's currently on your wish list? What do you want? What do you desire the most? Okay, now go a little deeper. Not just things, not just money or possessions. What do you really want? Now imagine God coming to you and saying to you, what can I give you, my child? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine what you would feel and think and wonder? God went to King Solomon, King David's son who became king after him, in a dream and asked this very question, what can I give you? Want to hear what Solomon said? Okay, great. Then listen closely. Let's read together. Solomon showed his love for the Lord by walking according to the instructions given him by his father David, except that he offered sacrifices and burned incense on the high places. The Lord appeared to Solomon during the night in a dream, and God said, Ask for whatever you want me to give you. Solomon answered, You have shown great kindness to your servant, my father David, because he was faithful to you and righteous and upright in heart. You have continued this great kindness to him and have given him a son to sit on his throne this very day. Now, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David, but I'm only a little child and do not know how to carry out my duties. Your servant is here among the people you have chosen, a great people, too numerous to count or number. So give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. For who is able to govern this great people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for this. So God said to him, since you have asked for this and not for long life or wealth for yourself, nor have you asked for the death of your enemies, but for discernment in administering justice, I will do what you have asked. I will give you a wise and discerning heart so that there will never have been anyone like you, nor will there ever be. Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for, both wealth and honor, so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. And if you walk in obedience to me and keep my decrees and commands as David your father did, I will give you a long life. Solomon comes to a place in his life where he is given this incredible responsibility. He has to lead, lead a large group of people. He has to make important decisions. He has to be an example to others and fulfill all his responsibilities. He realized that he can't do it without God. And when God came to him in a dream and asked what he wanted, he asked for wisdom. Wisdom is different from being just being clever. It's being able to know what's right and wrong and what's good and necessary. Wisdom is to have good judgment. It's actually being able to figure out what God wants you to do in the situation you're in. Where in your life do you need to lead, to be an example, make important decisions or decide between right and wrong? Solomon realizes that he needs God to be able to be a good king. He knows God was good to his father David and helped him. He also wants to be king with God. Of course, God immediately says yes when Solomon asks for wisdom and blesses him with many other things as well. Do you see how eager God is to help us? God is a good parent who wants to give us everything we need to follow him. He loves Solomon so much and was so happy that he asked for wisdom. You'll be just as happy if you choose to do everything with Him. Ask God for the wisdom you need for each day. He's eager to help you. He's excited about what you can do with Him.
Through you the blind will see Through you the mute will sing Through you the dead will rise Through you all hearts will praise Through you the darkness flees through you my heart screams, I am free. And I am free to run. And I am free to run. I am free to dance. I am free to dance. I am free to live for you. I am free to live for you. blind will see, through you the mute will sing, through you the dead will rise, through you all hearts will praise, through you the darkness flees, through you my heart screams I am free. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you so much that we can meet you in conversation and that we can ask you what we need. Thank you that you are eager to give us your wisdom. Fill us with your wisdom now so that we may make the right decisions and journey with you. Thank you for your presence in our lives. Amen. Bye guys, enjoy your week.